I'm Shelley Turner with the Builder All team. In this video, we're continuing with the next three panels on the Ice Cream Shop website. So I'm going to flip over to the original site. And here's our original site. We did the panels one, two, and three. Now let's take a look at panels four, five, and six. So we need a, a panel that has some text here and then an image on the right. We need another panel that we can add some images to with a button, and then another panel that has some scrolling numbers for us. So let's take a look and see if we can find those panels, and either we can pull them in from the panels that already exist, or we can make them from scratch. Let's go ahead and check. So I'm back in my editor. I'm going to scroll down, and we'll take a look at Add and Panel. And the first panel that we want to add after this one is the text with the image on the side. So let's take a look if that panel's in contents. I'm going to click contents and we're going to scroll down to see if we can find it. And as I scroll down, I can see a lot of great designs, but I'm looking for content that has text on the left hand side with a button and then an image. So it looks like I've got that right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click and activate that. And so that throws it to the bottom. And remember, we can click on that panel and click the up button and now to put it right below this area and so we've got some text we've got a button and then I've got an image right here and we need to put our image in there so I'm going to click on the image but I'm going to go to change image and we're going to find the correct image which is right here and then click save so now we've got that panel created the next panel let's take a look at what it was so this is the panel we're looking for now it has uh, one, two, three, four, five icons. It has a little title here and a button here. So let's see if we can find that panel and we'll go ahead and add it in. So we'll go to add and panel. And this one might be in the features area. So let's take a look in the features. There we go. It looks like it's right there. So we'll click and add that one in. And remember, it put it down at the very bottom. So we'll click and then click the up arrow to send it up one. And so there we've got a title and we've got the icons. We've got a little bit of uh, information right there and then a button. So let's take a look at what our original website said so we can make sure it matches. So it says our main services, service A, B, C, D, and E, but the images were different. So we had those images that we had inside of our image, our, our digital file repository and then the button says no more. So let's go ahead and jump in and change it so it looks just like that. Plus we'll add that background image as well to match this one. So let's go ahead and take a look at our site and make those changes. So here we are in our editor and we've got our main services, service A, B, C, D, and E, and no more. So everything looks pretty good, but we need to change these images because they're not matching and we need to change the background. So the first thing I'll do is actually change the panel. So I'm going to click on the panel to get the settings, and then I'm going to go to background. And I'm going to change the image of the background. So I'm going to click on that. And there's our image that we want to use. So I'm going to click on that to activate it, and then click Save. So now we have the correct image on the background. We need to change these images to make the correct images there. So I'm going to click on that image to get the settings. I'm going to go to General Settings and then Change Image. And I'll just choose this first one and save. And we might have to make it a little bit bigger, so we'll stretch it a little bit and then put it over here so it's kind of centered in that box. So we'll center it right on the box right here. We'll go to the next item and we'll go to Change Image. We'll select that second image and save. And we'll make it a little bit bigger and center it. And then we'll go to this item and we'll go to change image and we'll pick that third one and save and we'll make it a little bit bigger just like that and then we'll click then we'll click this one and we'll go to change image and choose the next image and save and make it a little bit bigger and then we'll go to this last one and change image and choose the last image and save and then we'll make it a little bit bigger. So now we have all of our images in place and everything looks great. Probably the only thing that doesn't quite match is maybe the button and that's the size. So if I click on that button, go to the settings, 
click on headline and here I'm going to make that font size just a little bit smaller and when I do that I can make that button a little bit smaller too so it's not quite so big and I think I'm going to round the edges a little bit more so I can go to round border <laughs> this is at a 6 I think I'll make it a 10 so let's see if that works there we go let's take a look that looks fabulous. So um, then let's make sure it's centered on the panel, just like that. And that one's ready to go. So we've now done uh, one, two, three, four, five panels. We've got one more to do in this video. So let's go ahead and take a look at what that last panel was so we can make sure we know exactly what to put on there. So we've got this panel right here. Uh, and it has the numbers that are there. So let's go ahead and find that panel that has the numbers and we will add that to the mix. So let's go ahead and jump in and see if we can find that panel. All right, so we're in our editor. I'm going to go to add and panel. We'll look in contents and we'll see if we can find our numbers. So we'll scroll down and take a look until we find the right panel. And there it is right there, the express statistics. So I just click on that one and it adds it to the bottom and then we'll click on that panel, click the up arrow and move it up. And now we've got that panel ready to go with the numbers. So that's all we're going to do in this video. We've done six panels so far and everything look is looking fantastic. Remember the most important thing that we need to do is click save and then that's fine to go ahead and publish it. And now we're ready to move into the last panels of the website to make sure that we finish out building this website. I'll see you in the next video.